deep inside the great mountain in the Ice Dwarf Valley. Are the humans ready for war? Facing the most powerful enemy. It's time to fight back. The Dwarfs. Welcome to the ruins of the Ice Dwarf Kingdom. Hello and welcome back to Runes of Magic. Today we are taking a look at the classic instance Ruins of the Ice Dwarf Kingdom. This is a level 50 and a level 30 instance and it's located in Dragonfang Ridge. Uh, if we see on the map we see we are at this big structure, this big castle thing here close to the Ice Dwarf Wally and this is as I said a classic instance and it's one of the first instances in Runes of Magic so yeah and today I'm actually playing on my mage my new level 80 mage <laughs> that we leveled up in the last let's play episode so yeah um, yeah, let's just enter, I guess. Uh, today we are, there, there are two modes, uh, I forgot to mention, there are two modes. There are, uh, what you can call, uh, easy mode and a normal mode. Um, a easy mode is for level 30 players and a normal mode is level 50 players. Uh, the difference between the modes are, uh, that... <laughs> On, there are some quests that you only can do as level 30 and there are some quests that you only can do as level 50 on on the modes so yeah uh, we today we are doing a level 50 mode instance because that's that is a full run and I'm playing on my mage because I kind of tested out this instance earlier today with my rogue and I <laughs> I died a lot so I have actually had a lot of pro problems kind of <laughs> finish this instance and I have actually had a lot of kind of <laughs> recording issues as well so it haven't been been good but yeah so we are inside in the level 30 in uh, mode there are no normally uh, NPC here uh, yeah <laughs> that have some quest for you and stuff and I also forgot to mention that oh, to enter this instance you have to do some pre-quests uh, you start by doing the pre-quest up here at a guy called Jacob and you got to have to collect some stuff and you have to fight a boss and you, there are also some quests up here, oh, up here at Marl Outpost that you have to do and something you have to collect enable to enter this instance so yeah uh, yeah let's just get going and try to get to the first boss and hope we survive the lag uh, I have noticed there are <laughs> lots of lag today and have been in the late lately so yeah so yeah let's just go to the first boss and clear out some mobs and trash uh, 
this is actually the third boss. He is frozen at the moment. So enable to unlock him, you have to do the two other bosses. And you also have to kinda when when this third boss is dead, then the door here behind him is opening up as well to the rest of the instance. Uh we came in here and this is the first room and first we have to go here blah, 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 all the way here and unlock this this boss here and then we have to blah, 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 all the way to the end and hopefully we will make it without dying <laughs> I believe we can do that like, especially with my level 18 mage <laughs> so yeah I'm a bit overpowered but I don't care it's just fun it's a fun instance so and there's a lot of dwarfs there as well. So yeah. Would maybe kind of be better to do this instance as a dwarf, but <laughs> well. I don't care as well. Yeah, I'm having some like issues actually. I don't like that. What's up with that? I don't know. This is a long instance as well. There are lots of kind of stairs, like those here, and a lot of trash mobs. So there are a lot of running, and if you are under level 55, I recommend you to do this with a party or high-level players. So yeah, and I have to watch out for those wall crystals because they are freezing you if you get too close. Yeah. So here we got the first boss. This is Mol the Mole King. Mole King. Mole King. Uh, he also freezes you and stuns you and stuff. I think I would take him one hit actually, yeah. <laughs> In one hit. Uh, that was pretty good. <laughs> And we got an ice belt. I don't know if we need this look. It's not. You don't see it so good. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Oh my god! It's a big guy. Oh, big guy. Okay. Yeah. So that was the first boss. Sorry about that. It went a little bit fast. Uh, but yeah, he kind of stuns you and. You should be in a party to avoid uh, kind of all the debuffs and stuff you get from all the frost crystals, KV. Yeah. So we are kind of just rushing this instance, uh, actually, just because it's a long instance. <laughs> Sorry about that, I'm, <laughs> I'm just rushing. Like I said, I was trying this instance with my <laughs> third class, my rogue. And yeah, he, he's, he's kind of okay statted, he have alright stats, he's not kind of weak or something, but I totally died at this boss here, <laughs> at this next boss we are coming to now with my, my third class. And then I kind of had recorded for like <laughs> one hour al already because I had been cleaning out all the trash here. So yeah. Well, this is the second boss. Uh, I'm just take away this trash here. Yeah. Second boss. This is the chest hair foot. Hair foot. Um. He drops a yeah, pin card and he also drops some furniture materials and I think he drops um, I think yeah he drops his kind of knife his meat knife uh, yeah <laughs> that can be kind of good for looks sometimes if 
you are looking for looks. So yeah. Uh, but if you aren't kind of burning the bosses like I'm doing now, and if you want to do the tactics, then the tactics tactics for this boss is that you actually have to be at least two people, two players, uh, because he is casting some spells and he is freezing you to like a ice block, and the other player have to run over to the fire here and kind of bring the fire over to to where you are frozen and release you so that you can continue fighting the boss. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> But we are just gonna burn the boss. And he has 650. I think we can do it in two hits. I'm, I'm not buffed or anything. So. Yeah, two hits. He's down. Yeah. This is the fire thing. And you have to run over to the guy who is frozen. Okay. Hold on, for now. Take a look at the loot here. Okay. Drop an ice necklace. Uh, did you act did you by the way know that uh, on your character or when you are kinda let me just check my bag here. When you are kinda using advanced aggregator or using what is it called the the other one? The other one, I don't know what it's called. You can actually use looks from necklaces or from rings and change the looks of the rings here and the stuff here that's pretty <laughs> awesome actually I I didn't knew that until some months ago actually and <laughs> uh, it, it really kind of shocked me but um, I think that's good but 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 then you have to be real, really, really bored if you are kind <laughs> of changing the looks of the rings because why bother doing that? I don't know. Um, <laughs> why spending diamonds on buying applicators to change the looks of your rings that only you can see? <laughs> I, I don't, I don't see any point with, with doing that. So let's move over to the next one. Oh, did I forget? Did he have a quest item? I didn't see. Did he? Did he? Did he? Did he? Did he? <laughs> Am I so stupid that I miss it? Oh, what? Let me see. Yeah, he actually had a quest item for me. Oh, God. Uh, this looks like a dwarf recipe. It. Um, Man, oh, this. I'm so my English is so bad, but it's kind of book a book something. Where do you have to deliver this book? We got some rings as well. <laughs> um, a Jacob, yeah, Jacob outside. The guy with the starring quest, kind of. So yeah, let's move over to the next boss, which are the or the third boss, the, the boss that was frozen in the beginning. We are gonna kill him now. <laughs> See, now we are kind of running back the way we came before. out <laughs> some mobs. It's actually a good idea to clear out all the mobs here first. Kind of trying to kill this boss. Yeah. Um tactics here. Hmm, let me think. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, there are some. You first, you have to kill the, the red guys there that are kind of controlling the ice something, and then the boss kind of spawns. He, yeah, you will see what I mean. And in a party, there when if you are in party, if you aren't burning bosses, then there are kind of like some circles that 
are appearing during the fight which you have to run to and stand into enable to not die and not wipe because you may wipe so yeah um, yeah just let's let <laughs> let's just kind of clear out the mobs here and I will I will try to get or to find the uh, real tactics and put them in the description of this video so if you want to learn them um, yeah you can have the chance to do so so iceborg guardian uh, if you see if, if I'm standing here I don't think it's bugged still oh it's not or is it yeah it's bugged yeah if you stand here uh, you can't you can't hit him but you, you can't kinda aggro him so I think if I'm doing full power now I don't think he will die maybe okay let's just I don't know if, if it's possible because okay it was but b before you actually had to go under the boss like stand here and able to aggro him and so, well Okay, ice shoulder armor. I don't know how this looks, but no, don't look any good. <laughs> don't. Well, well, well. well. So mm, let's move on. So yeah, I will try to find the tactics. I think they are some on the Wikipedia the room wiki and maybe in the rooms of magic data data by the database base oh, database yeah rooms of magic database I think there are some there as well can I kill them all okay Here is actually very important to clear out all the mobs. There are mobs here, and there are mobs at that side as well. Uh, because there, it, it's 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 important to clear out all the mobs because the bosses will kind of trigger trigger every every dwarfs here. So when you are attacking the boss, all the mobs will come. And kill you, or try to kill you. So, let's just yeah. Let's just do it. Okay, so now are all the dwarves <laughs> dead? And if you go here, you see, oh my god, I can't go past this door because what? What's going on? Okay, so what you have to do, you have to go and step up on this big platform here, and some bosses will appear. It's actually, if you can see it, it's actually this guy, Mulanail. He is kind of sending his servant servant so he's sending his I don't know what to call it um, <laughs> butlers downstairs to fight you and when you have defeated all the butlers he will come and kind of try to finish you up she finish you up so yeah so let's get to it. So, first one, cool on aim. So, waiting for next one. Sub on aim. Now he 
keeps coming itself. I think. Yeah. Brunel, here he comes. <laughs> Don't reg regret anything, okay? Okay, so he's down. And he dropped a notebook, this is a quest, and ice hand guards. Mm, maybe, I don't know. Oh, what? Why is that aggro on me? I don't know. Well, let's look at this quest we got. Not that one, we got this one. The notebook is full of two. Dwarf writings that you can't read. Maybe you have to talk, take it back to the outpost and give it to Marl so he can take care of it. Okay, I will do that. So, uh, if you are doing the level 30 instance, this is the farthest you will come. Uh, enable to do the full instance, you have to do the level 50 mode. Enable to open this door, which we have done now and moving on and to the next boss which are kind of far away we are here at the moment we were here so now we have a long way to go <laughs> to walk I mean yeah go walk goes for a sin I guess clear up some up <laughs> There are some kind of uh, some hallways and rooms and stuff, so you may might get a bit confusing if you haven't been here before. Let me see if I'm doing this the right way. Yeah, I'm, I'm not supposed to go in there. I'm supposed to go in over there. Yeah. That one, but this one. Here we are. Let's kill some dwarves. Let's kill some more dwarves. And let's take it all out on those stone guards because they are. They can actually stun you and. Yeah, kill you easily if you. Aren't properly properly geared. So yeah. Let's see. So fast, I can see. Am I going too fast? Let me slow, slow it down a bit. Yeah, there we go. Kill you. Kill you. Kill you. And go in here. So, I'm just Perga or Fire all the way down here. <laughs> Perga, it's called. It's, it's called Perga. Because there's so much mobs on the way. So, yeah. Now we actually have walked pretty far already. Um, I remember it being longer, but 
that was maybe when I was a bit weaker, I don't know. Um, there are actually a quest NPC here. Uh, there's a quest that you have to do. Uh, let's just see what that was. Uh, yeah, I have to talk to Jacob and enter the instance again, enable to complete that quest. So, we are at the next boss. Uh, it's a big room <laughs> with some mobs here. And the boss in the end of the corridor. Um. The way to kill this boss is actually just tank and spank, uh, but you should kill the guards first. Just to kind of be sure that you won't aggro them when you are killing, or when you are killing, when you are aggroing the boss that you won't aggro the mobs. That would suck. <laughs> so yeah. Ah, uh, let's, let's kill this one. Two hits. Pag, Pangor. Pangor. One. Yeah, two hits. And we get a debuff. What does this say? Decreasing our attack speed by 4% and decreasing spell casting speed by 4% for 10 minutes. That's actually a stupid debuff to get when we are close to the last boss. <laughs> well, yeah. So, Lava Necklace, I don't need that. And uh, Aljana Battle Axe. This can actually look kind of good sometimes. It's not bad if you use a one-handed handed sword or axe, which is kind of nice. Yeah. So, Pankolor is down, and we are moving over to the final boss in the <laughs> ruins of the Ice Wolf Kingdom. And now we see the kind of the scene scenery. The instances are kind of changing completely, going from big structures to cave system. It's kinda strange. And some big fire giant giant fire soldier and yeah. Um it's just right up. kind of good sometimes. Because they're the, the, the purple ones. So, we are at the last boss. This is Tri- Ternals? Ternals? Yeah, um, there are some tactics that are important by doing this boss. Um, there are many people who don't know how to do it, and even at high level, even at level 80, they have kind of died when they were attacking this boss. So, uh, first off, you have to clear out all the mobs, the trash mobs around it, green mobs. So let's start by doing that. Okay, I can't see the target, that sucks. And no, you won't burn if you're going into lava, so <laughs> don't worry about that. Uh, just looks cool. Uh, did he grab something? Just a shell. shell. Okay. So 
So, now that all the mobs are down, we have just the boss to go, go to, to kill, I mean, yeah. So, what you need to do here, don't stand here and burn the boss, that's the stupidest thing you can ever do. Because when he's dead, he will have an AO, 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 AO? yeah, like a, a shark that will kill you instantly. So when you are attacking boss, you have to kind of charge and stand in the lava. Don't move out of the lava. Stand in the lava and you will kill him. So yeah, let's. Should we try to kind of go full in or not? Nah, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Do that. It's not worth it. I don't know. Okay, here we go, bossy, bossy, bossy. Standing in the lava. Down. <laughs> that went pretty fast, actually. Um, but yeah, we didn't die. So. Let's see what he dropped. He dropped a uh, Tynor Spirit Crystal, so we will get a title. Ta da! Firefighter, of course. <laughs> awesome title. And an uh, earring. And a longbow, and it's HD. <laughs> Is there any scouts out there who want to buy a HD level 50 longbow? Let me know. <laughs> yeah. I will take this one. Thank you. Let's take everything. Yay. Okay. So, that was the Ice Dwarf Kingdom. Um, yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching, uh, even though <laughs> I have been talking a lot and a lot and a lot and yeah. But hope you guys enjoyed and I will try to find the tactics and put them in the description if you do not now know how to do this instance. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I will see you guys around. Bye-bye!